Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at UCLA's Royce Hall for the 44th Annual Annie Awards. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. What were some of the biggest challenges with Troll Hunter? Just the sheer amount of music I had to write in a short amount of time. How much did you have to write? Well, each episode's like 22 minutes, and there's like 18, 20 minutes of music to write. It's a lot. Yeah, it's animation, so it's, you know, big visuals, big music. It's puts a lot of pressure on you as, as a creator. Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, Guillermo del Toro, who's the executive producer of the show, he has this ability to pick people and put them in a role that they don't have to try too hard for. That may or may not make sense, but... He knew you could handle it. Yeah, he just knew when I saw it, I would know what to do. Doesn't mean it's not easy, because it takes a lot of time, but, I, you know, it, it works out okay. Do you have a particular episode or moment that you're most proud of when it comes to the music? Um, I like the emotional parts, you know, when things come together and you get to sum something up. Like episode 113, it's like the mid-season break and they sort of have a big battle. But then after that, everyone comes together and there's this scene where they're all hanging out, talking and cheersing. So writing uplifting, you know, happy music is always fun and I'm really happy with that. And what is it like working with Guillermo? Because I mean, you have his level um, of achievement, which is incredible as a yeah. director, and, and now you're working with him. Is there stress, is there pressure? Well, there's always pressure. But I find, like as I mentioned earlier, he, he kind of puts people in roles that, that they're gonna excel in. So I, I find I can, you know, it's not too hard to do, it just, it's the, the time and like, and there's always the, and it's Guillermo too, so you have to do a good job. But, you know, it always, it always works out, and it's not that hard, you know, to, to put it all together. Well, I love that. I love that it's just not hard. It'd be hard for me. Oh. But it means, no, but you're in the right place, and he put the right person in. Yeah, I, th I think th th that, that's it. It's not like he's put me in a situation where I'm, like, going to struggle, and I'm, I have to, to run a marathon, which I couldn't do. I just have to write some music for some, you know, but his visuals are stunning, you know, the, the show looks amazing. So it's easy to be stimulated by it and react to it. And then I put that down in, and there's the music. Well, congratulations on the nomination. We're wishing you well tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite animated film of the year was, Zootopia or Kubo.